There are two basic poles in my work, and one of them is beauty, and the other is what's often in beauty, and that is a sense of mor mortality and loss. One is far more political, which obviously the work here is, and then the other is more slanted towards the beauty slash mortality <laughs> uh, aspect. I often joke that I, I became a painter in order to learn how to see. When the immorality of torture, of repression, of dehumanization is allowed to flourish in one part of society, it cannot be cordoned off from the rest. What is allowed at the upper echelons of government seeps down to the rest of us. Permission is given to civil society to follow suit. We collective, collectively must not allow this to happen. I've always felt that once I started doing the political work, I felt I did not want to be an ambulance chaser. The only way I was going to do a political piece of work was if it grabbed me by the neck a little like Ulysses with Proteus, where he grabs him by the neck until he will tell him the truth. The dark side of beauty has always been central to my work. Sometimes that darker side reveals itself in the imprint of mortality. At other times, that darkness illuminates the tragedy of the human condition, as in the exhibition here at the Friedman Gallery. Truth is truth, and it is important to have a record of it. That belief, along with a hatred of injustice, is what compels me to do the work I do.